Intel is getting ready to drop their next generation processors for desktop known as Codename. Comet Lake, it turns out Intel boost clock frequencies to unprecedented levels. The flagship Core i7, known as the Core i7 10700K, feels so weird to say, is apparently an 8 core model clocked at 5.3 gigahertz. In this video, yeah, we're going to cover everything you need to know about Comet Lake and the Intel's upcoming processors for desktop. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to Arbian Hardware. My name is Robin. I'm your Swedish host with bad posture and poor accent. Today, we need to cover Intel's Core i7 codename Comet Lake. I got some very interesting leaks and when I saw this, I just had to tell you guys about it. So, no time to waste. Let's get right into it. Alright, so we're getting ready for a new generation of Intel processors, which are set to release in spring in 2020. The code name for the next gen processors for desktop is known as Comet Lake and will be the first real answer to the Ryzen 3000 series. And with third gen Ryzen, AMD has been able to seriously compete with Intel, not just in the productivity lane, but also in the gaming department. Now the recipe for the new generation will be the well-tried Skylake architecture picture on 40 nanometers but yeah this time we're getting more cores and higher clock frequencies than what we've seen in the past the full specifications for the top performer the flagship core i9 10900k is getting 10 cores and 20 threads with a base clock of 3.7 and a boost of 5.3 or 4.9 gigahertz with all cores under load and we believe that this processor will get pretty toasty now recent leaks about the Core i7 10700K reveals that Intel's flagship Core i7 takes a step down to 8 cores and 16 threads. Now the new data comes from uh, the well-known Twitter profile Tom Apisak who uh, published a screenshot from the UL Benchmark uh, 3D Mark Performance Database. Now, according to the screenshot, the Core i7 10700K has a base frequency of 3.8 GHz and this is 200 MHz over today's Core i9. 9, 9900K with the same numbers of cores. Now, previous data has suggested that this model can climb up to 5.1 via turbo, but it seems like the upcoming Core i9 10900K seems to reach a clock speed of 3. Point, uh, sorry, 5.3 gigahertz. There's so many numbers to keep track on. Anyway, the high clock frequency is probably reached by the thermal velocity boost or TVB for short. And this is a technology that originates from laptops and this is an algorithmic a feature that lets clock frequencies step over the turbo boost ceiling when the parameters such as power budget and temperatures allows for it. Now in terms of other specifications the Core i7 10700K is very similar to today's Core i9 9900K so chances are if you're already sitting on a Core i9 9900K you, you, you don't really want to upgrade to the new Core i7 but yeah we obviously gonna have to wait uh, until we get some performance data before we have you know the real answer how uh, much difference uh, there is going to be here anyway the biggest difference here is going to be the tdp value and this will allow the new processors to reach higher clock frequencies now the official ddr for memory support is also expected to step up from 2666 megahertz to 2923 megahertz as a new standard now the core i7 10700k is expected to go up against amd ryzen 7 3800x which has the same number of cores and threads and has a recommended price of 399 US dollars and so what Intel will charge for the Core i7 10700K we still don't know but asking more than $400 will likely put this processor in a very complicated situation Intel needs to be competitive here otherwise they're going to lose even more ground to AMD who apparently has been going strong lately and now has a market share of 18% guys I would love to hear a thought on this watch either of these two videos for more content and i will see you guys over there